Hey skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate and Sure Grip Roller Skates. I'm here at the Fountain Valley Skating Center and oh my God, look who just showed up. Dirty Deb, how's it going? Hey. Is this your rink? Yes, yes. What? My family opened up this rink in 1976. We've been here ever since. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yes, I love coming to this rink. And um, you know, I've been getting some questions and I thought you might be the perfect person to answer this question. And uh, the question is, how do I not look like a beginner? on roller skates. You know, people people wanna people wanna look cool and not not be the noob in the crowd. And I'm like, okay, I know who can answer this question. I'm calling up Dirty Deb and we're gonna go visit the Fountain Valley Skating Center. So here we are. Yeah, I mean I think the the biggest thing is when you say like how to not look like a beginner, let's just first Let's just first understand that looking like a beginner isn't a bad thing. It's not a big, listen, we were all beginners once. Every single great skater out there was not good when they started. You know what I mean? Everyone's gonna look like a beginner at first, but there is a few things that you can do to make your beginning skating experience so much better, and it's gonna make you wanna come back and practice more. I think probably one of the biggest things is actually what you wear. You know what I mean? Like you want to wear something comfy. You look comfy in I'm this. I'm comfy. These you are look, yeah. stretchy. You know, I got my my booty all covered up and cozy and like yeah. yeah. You're so like we're talking like exercise gear or street wear. It's perfectly fine. Like you might not want to show up like in your club wear. The second thing I think we should address is skates. Like Ooh. what kind of skates should we wear? Yeah. Not everyone has their own skates, so a lot of people are going to have to rent skates. Now there is kind of this idea that rental skates are terrible skates. Let me get behind the counter and show you something. The vast majority of rinks have a fleet of rental skates. We're talking real leather boots, metal plates, hard wheels, and a toe stop. These are actually really good skates. Do you know why? These things are meant to last like 10 years. Oh. Okay, they may be heavy, they may not be your skates, but that doesn't mean they're bad. Here's the biggest challenge. People, like, they want to put these on their feet and then they want to wear them like you wear your tennis shoes. Let's just, un, you know, just undo this. We're going to have this hanging over and then, like, we're going to tie them back here. Let's floppy, just say. Floppy skates. Yeah, style. and just floppy and then you just got your foot in there rocking like this. You know that you need support in your skates correctly. Like, look at your skates. Look They're pretty tight. supportive. Yes. Right? I would just Waste say this. Up. If you are a beginner skater and you want to have a good time and you want to feel stable and you want to feel confident in your skates, feel free to lace them all the way up. You know, maybe you let a one of them go because you're like, got to look cool here. <laughs> but um, I get that. But also, make sure they fit proper. Like you can't have big old skates on. I can't have your foot moving forward to backward. They, it needs to be pretty tight. So okay. okay. It's all penguin floppy. Yeah, yeah. With like big old clown shoes on. No one wants to be wearing clown shoes in the ring. Okay. Anyway, so get yourself a decent pair of skates. We got that. Let's talk about number three, getting on the floor. Oh yeah. So how do I like? What do I do when I first approach the rink floor? Okay. When you first approach the floor, more than likely you're coming in and there's already an existing session going on. Like basically there's a party already going on and you're just joining it, okay? So you kind of want to get a lay of the land. Look at who's already out there skating. Find out where the fast lane is. This is different from session to session. Let's say on a particular night, the fast lane is the outside line. So when you go to get on the floor, like you can hardly even get on the floor because there's so much traffic going really, really That's fast. That's intimidating. Right? So intimidating. So in those cases, let's say it's the fast lanes on the outside, you always want to go to the farthest exit. So it'd be over here. That way you can see the full impact of the oncoming traffic before you jump out, okay? I never knew that! 
Don't you just jump out the middle. The it is way easier to get on here, huh? Most of the time, the skaters that are here are already entering the turn. So this particular part of the rink will be open and easier for you to get on, as opposed to the middle just entering like, you know, this is like a good on-ramp section right here. Once we're out here on the floor, you know, you gotta know a thing or two about skating, am I right? Yeah, what do, what do I need to know when I'm very first starting to skate? Like, what's the right mindset? All right, first things first, you can't look down. If your entire idea is, oh my God, looking down, essentially what you're thinking, what you're telling your brain is, I wonder what that floor feels like. <laughs> when you keep looking at it, you are drawn to it. You can't help it. Wherever you look is where you're gonna go. It doesn't mean you can't do a light little glance. Hmm, I'm not looking at the floor. We're very curious about what our skates are doing. They're so cute though, I wanna look at them. They're cute, yeah, but here's the cute. thing. They're attached to your feet. Your feet have been walking you around the entire life. They don't need you staring at them and commanding them to do something. They get performance anxiety that way. What you need to do is look out, out, okay? This needs, your brain needs to be able to say, oh my God, that wall is far in the distance. I'm probably not gonna run into it. But if I look down, I'm gonna be drawn to whatever I'm looking at. So. You gotta keep your chin up, this is really hard. <laughs> okay, when we're moving forward, I see this a lot, big mistake. People are like, I'll just walk. I'm gonna walk, I walk. This can lead to bad things. Also, this idea that like, if I just kick back, I'm gonna go somewhere. This will not make you move forward. People do not wanna go to the rink and do this because they have this idea that like, I'm gonna be skating like this. I'm gonna be like, looking like an idiot. Just casually with your arms out to the side would be great right and then think i'm in order for me to go forward i have to shift my body weight from left to right so hopefully there's your jams on and you're like yes side to side side to side if you do that and you lean lean all of a sudden your wheels are gonna roll okay. you don't have to go fast you don't even really have to push you don't have to push at all if you just lean let the wheels do their job. You'll not only make it around the rink, but you're gonna look good doing it, oh. okay? Skating is inherently a social sport. It's not meant to be done where we just look down and we're like this. So if you can keep your chin up oh, and you're okay, looking around, right? How are you, the girl? more that you look around and shift your body weight from side to side, and you're like, hey, the better off you'll be, okay? This is gonna happen. Kids are gonna run in your way. They're gonna be using those skate mates. People are gonna fall. Ah. So be ah. mindful out there. This is like a, 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 a crazy freeway. If, if you fall, let's, okay, let me just say this. It's a guarantee, you're gonna fall. You're gonna fall. <laughs> you are going to fall. You're gonna get you're really gonna good fall. at falling, probably. It's my if, best you, <laughs> if you think you're gonna fall, I like it when people just get down low and grab their calves. So if I'm gonna fall, I'd rather fall from that position than what normally people do is, oh my God, I'm gonna fall. And for some reason, as we get big, we're like, <laughs> I'm gonna fall. I want everyone ah, to see it. Let me make my legs straight and get super stiff so that I fall 10 times harder. Right. It's like, no, your reaction should be like, ah. Yes, the next thing is probably stopping. Like stopping's a pretty important part in skating. When you first start, let's just be honest here, you're gonna use the wall. You're gonna run into the wall in order to stop a lot. And usually it's a situation where you're coming in hot. You know, like people are just like, ah! <laughs> that happens quite often. If you don't fight the wall, like if you come in at it and you're like, come to me, and you're like this and yes, absorb it. Just absorb it. Thank you, yes. Also, go in with a bent knee, that's helpful. I'm like, oh, here I come, and oh. <laughs> you might have to practice a few times, but it helps. Etiquette, let's talk etiquette. Ooh, let's talk etiquette. Yes, this is very important. I love my cell phone, but what I hate is when we're on the floor and people, Lord, just taking pictures the entire time. I'm talking 
stopping traffic, taking pictures, hanging out at the walls, taking pictures. You should definitely, hold on, we gotta take a picture. Okay, you should def <laughs> definitely take pictures. However, you need to be very mindful of what's going on. We're not here to stop you from having a good time. Definitely want you to have fun, definitely want you to take pictures. Just be mindful when you do it. That way, you don't get hurt, other skaters don't get hurt, and you get the shot you want. Okay, maybe you wait in the middle of songs when things have slowed down a bit. I think the, uh, the last final tip I would give to people is really manage your expectations. Ooh, manage your expectations. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. When you come, especially if you haven't skated in a long time, if you can just be upright on your skate and you can motor yourself around, victory. You don't have to say, okay, if I don't walk out of here as an advanced backward skater, then this experience is nothing and I ate. Too I much suck. pressure. Too much pressure. Your real goal as a beginner should be to skate and move your body from side to side. God, move it to the beat of the music. Look around, have fun, and have a good time. Yes. Also understand no matter what that you have to practice. So if your first beginner experience, you followed our like, tips and rules and whatnot, and you're like, oh my God, this is just super difficult, just be okay with that. And then come back and practice. If you really want to be a great skater, it's all about practice. Yeah, all about practice. So you just keep coming back, keep coming back. We will welcome all beginners. Love beginners. Open arms, right? New skaters are great. Yeah, no, it, 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 the greatest thing that I think about a new skater is when you see the joy and through their eyes, you're like, oh my God, yay! And it happens so quickly. Yeah. Like once people just catch the roll a tiny yeah. bit, you see their eyes light up and they're like, oh my God, I feel like a kid again. Oh my gosh, I could do this anywhere. All I need is a flat surface. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's super good. And it's very inspiring for other skaters like myself. When I see someone who's brand new and they're really struggling, but they keep coming and they keep practicing and they get better, I'm like, wow, that's, impressive very very impressive so as a beginner skater don't ever think that advanced skaters don't notice your struggle and respect you for it yeah, they do they do yeah and then also you can check out the planet roller skate tutorials and dirty devs tutorials on her youtube channel if you don't already subscribe you definitely need to go subscribe to her channel it's probably one of the best databases of roller skate videos online right now Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Planet Roller Skate. Thank you, Dirty Deb. Thank you. For breaking this down for us. You put yeah. it perfectly. I think this is great advice for beginners. So, yeah. thank you. I can't you. wait. I can't wait for all the beginners to come down. Yeah, come on and down. Uh, be sure stoked. to go subscribe to Dirty School of Skate on YouTube for all the great tutorials. Um, come down to Fountain Valley Skating Center. Check it out yourself. Big, beautiful, nice floor. And, uh, yeah. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit up planetrollerskate.shop for everything you need from helmet to toe stop. And until next time, next later time. skaters. <laughs>